welcome back to my channel this is Raven and we are here going to plan for the last week of March in my common planner by Sterling Inc this is the a5 compact full year planner mine is the skinnier version um, I just have less of the blank daily pages in the back but yeah we um, I previously just filmed my video where I showed my planner lineup and then I was gonna plan in here but that video got way too long so I made it a separate video um so yeah here is gonna be my setup for this upcoming week in my planner this is a little um pouch that I got I purchased this from I think it's Salty Katie Co is the name of where I purchased this like jelly folder. I originally purchased this for the Hobonichi Cousin, but it actually fits in here because it's still the A5 size. And it's just a little pocket. I keep some stickers in here. Um, I have this little like, uh, I guess it's a little like Coffee Monsters Co. Um, what's it called? What are these called? Like little uh, dashboards, I guess. I just have it in here. I might switch it out for a different one um, soon. I think I have a couple in here I could switch it out for. But I just have this and it has this little pin here. This is the pin I'll be using today. This is the Uniball 1 in 0.38 mm. I got this from Jet Pins. Hope you guys can see that, that it's coming in correctly. But I love this pin. It is a gel pin and it drives pretty dries pretty quickly. I had to let it sit there for a couple seconds. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be f decorating and planning for March 25th to the 31st in here. This is a blank week. You can still kind of see like from the backside, but that's completely fine. So I have that. And then the kit we're going to be using is a kit that I have from Happy Daya. This is an older one. I don't remember the name of this kit anymore. Um, oh, it's called Happy Kit 01. So this is like from a while ago. Um, I don't like... I used to be a part of Happy Daya subscription when I was in the Hobonichi Cousin. Then I stopped it recently, but now that I'm in the Sterling Ink Planner, um, I believe the box size for the Hobonichi is, from the Hobonichi to this one, is about the same. So I might go ahead and join that subscription again. Yes, I think I might do that. But this is the little stick kit here. It's like a little cactus um, set. I really don't know, like, what it's called but here you have some little icons it looks like there's like a little school or like a little church some cleaning a laptop just cute little doodles here here are some more of these doodles these look more like planning wise computer type stuff a little busy cactus like how it has a bunch of post-its all over it it's really cute and then here we have more that's about like stickers um more like subscription stuff. So I know like Happy Day always has like a special like sticker sheet that's like about like a specific theme. So this one must be about, it looks like about this theme actually. It's really cute. Um, so I might have put some of these down to mark me like planning in my planner. And then here we have some holiday type ones, he, party, birthdays, some little balloons, presents kind of stuff. I think that's really cute. And then here we have like, like little ice creams with like cactus, like looks like dessert stuff. So here's some plates, um, little cupcakes, little ice cream cones. That's so sticking cute. She's so creative, like who thinks of this? And then here we have some of the little characters. Um, looks like they're in a the little mug, um, some coffee and iced coffee sets as well. Just super adorable, I really love these. And here are some of the really cute, like motivational type stickers, which again, Happy Dial is known for a lot of these. It says, smile, yes, tomorrow will be better. I did it, fighting, so exciting, super cute. I love these, so I really like this as well. Then here we have some of the girl doodle stickers. Um, typically a little character has like the pink hair, but I like how she has it like in the cactus screen, that's adorable too. We have a reading sticker, some cleaning stickers, very, very cute. And then here, this is kind of like the full box page, I guess you would say. Um, you can write a little thing that you want to in here or use it as a decor as well. But you get these little sheets here. And again, I purchased this like 
one to two, probably two to three-ish years ago, honestly. But we're gonna be using these, and then I'm also gonna be bringing in some washi. I have these striped washi here. I can't remember if I purchased this from Michaels or like Etsy shop. I'm gonna kinda look around, and if I notice it, I'm kinda thinking it's Michaels because the inside of it's like this brown color. And the times that I purchased Michaels washi, it definitely had like this brown roll on the inside. So that's why I'm thinking it's Michaels, but I'm not sure I'll look around and if I be able to figure out where I got it from I'll tag it below but I have this kind of greenish color here and this brownish one as well it has like the grid mark on it which I think is really cute um and then other things I might join in and add I think I might add in the green from this uh, Tombow marker here in 192 um, I'm trying to think what other colors might go well I also had, I used yellow last week, it's probably not yellow. Um, I do have a darker green, let me see if I can find it. I have this darker green in 312. Um, this might be one, two, cause there's different hues of green. So either one of these might work as well for this week. I also have this like lighter brown in 992 of the Tombow markers. So I might pull in this one as well. But I have that. Some other tools I have are my little uh, tweezers here, my sticker tweezers. I've had these for so long, like the sides of them came off. Um, they are EK Tools brand. Um, I had these since, oh my gosh, I want to say like 2000, 13, 14, <laughs> very long time. I can't even find this brand anywhere. Not the brand, but like this style anymore. But I had these little tweezers I used to put down the stickers. And then here is a little uh, washi, um, what's it called? Like a washi cutter that I purchased. Uh, this is from the Honey Bee Shop. I had this too for several years. Um, it's Sailor Moon inspired. It's super cute. I just use it to, um, Tear the washi, basically. And then if I need to, I also have this little dandy, um, what's it called, like exacto cutter here. It has a very, very, very small um, trim at the end here. And it's just like a little pen. It's really nice, simple, easy to use. I just have this if I need it. So we'll go ahead and get started. Hey friends, Voice Over Raven here. Um, I realized while I was editing this video, I didn't even mention at all about me being on a hiatus for so long. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of back. I miss YouTube. I miss being creative and having an outlet. And so I am trying this again. Um, yeah, in my little video where I kind of show my planner lineup, I go a bit more in depth about the changes in my life. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry that I didn't kind of cover that in this video. Um, but right now I'm just basically marking the times that I will be working. Um, my job has greatly changed. I'm no longer working in schools or going for my BCBA. Um, I'm actually a librarian assistant right now currently, and it's a lot of fun. I really do love it. I really needed something. I needed to just get out of education. I was just getting so over it. And I decided to take a year off and I wasn't like planning. And I just happened to start using my local library again. I saw they were hiring. I applied. I got the job. And yeah, I've been a librarian assistant now for about a year or two, about two years now, I would say. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I do the story times. I do displays. It's it's great. It's really tough, but it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, but that's kind of where I've been and we're now just planning my week. So I'm just writing down um, basically the hours that I will be working. I use a mild liner just to mark it and I draw these little arrows. I kind of stole these from Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co., the owner there. I like how she draws these little arrows for the times that she's doing projects and stuff. So I went ahead and did that and this Thursday I have some things I have to do at the library that are specifically very important. So I went ahead and wrote those in so I won't forget. I do have a separate work planner that I use um, to help me manage like story times and 
displays and all that kind of stuff too. Um, so maybe I'll kind of do a video showing you guys that one as well. But yeah, I go ahead and mark that and then I start working on some washi, put some washi on the bottom. And now I'm writing in for Easter, which is on Sunday. Oh my gosh, guys, wasn't it just Christmas? How are we at Easter already? What's happening? Um, anyway, I put some washi down and one of the big succulent uh, full boxes. I just write Happy Easter in there. I actually tried doing it and then I messed it up. And so I redid another one. Yeah. So I mark that and then every Sunday I have a call with my best friend Sarah. So I went ahead and just added that um, there for that Sunday and we're moving over again to the sidebar. So there I just laid down some of the brown washi, another one of those succulent um, stickers as well. And for this week of March, it's actually the Trans Rights Readathon. I am really in the beauty book community right now. I have a TikTok, Instagram, um, and right now it's this really awesome readathon going on just to like boost and talk about trans rights. Definitely join. It would be awesome if you do. Any info about it, go to my Instagram at the.readingraven. There I have all the resources and stuff, which is a lot of fun. So I just have that mark there for the book set. Um, not for books, but just for a reminder of like, hey, it's this week. Um, and then after that, I go ahead and write down my chores for the week. So my step kiddos, that's something that also changed recently. We now have them full time. So this whole week, they're going to be at their mom's house, which is great because I plan to just deep clean the crap out of our home. So I have to do laundry, deep clean the bathroom, my bedroom because it's a mess, and then our hall closet because that's just, oh my gosh, I want to look in there. And then I start working on my to-do list for the week. I don't know why I made this bullet point in a square and the rest of them are circles. I don't know what I was doing, um, but we had to finish my fiance's taxes. And then I'm just writing down some other things that I have to do for this week. I really want to get um, used to like a social media, like schedule kind of thing. I use Notion for my bookstagram content. And so I'm debating if I want to um, do a separate calendar for social media stuff like here on YouTube and things or if I just want to use it like paper wise I'm not sure I'm gonna kind of figure out and see but now for the rest of the week I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down these really cute coffee inspired stickers just to mark my morning routines I don't drink coffee as often as I used to. Um, I used to have coffee several times a day. Now I only have it once in the morning, which I know to some people that's still a lot, um, but I'm getting a little bit better, <laughs> I will say. So I'm just writing down morning routine, which is the same thing. I get up, I do my morning stretches. Um, I just do regular basic, you know, hygiene type stuff. Um, I take some of my vitamins, that kind of thing. And yeah, so I'm just marking down some things I want to get done. So I still go to Zumba. And I do try to be active and stuff. So I want to mark down days that I want to go to the gym. I actually write down, I think on Friday or Thursday, that I want to try Pio. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to go to it because <laughs> it's like Pilates and yoga mixed together and it is very intense. I tried it once before and I stopped <laughs> and so I'm in my head. I'm like, I can try again. Um, I don't think I actually will do it. So I wrote it down for Friday, but then I also wrote down the Zumba schedule for Saturday because I think that makes more sense for me just to do Zumba. So I might not do it, but I'll try it. And then I'm just marking down the days that I want my plan with me is up for this week. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of really nervous and excited to get back into planning again and I hope I make this more of a thing to do because I really did miss you guys and I just miss being creative and you know showing inspiration and stuff so I hope to get back into the groove of it all and for Tuesday me and my fiance are going on a date night to go see Dune 2 I'm just marking on Friday that I want to plan for the next week typically Fridays or Saturdays is when I plan and then I just write down when my step kiddos will be back home Okay everyone, so I think this is it for my finished layout. I can't think of any other things going on for this last week of March that I need to note in my planner. Um, when I do next week's spread, I'll do a little review of this week so you guys get a look of what it looks like. And again, I'll post it onto my Instagram at the.readingraven. Uh, here's my leftover kit pieces that I have. I still have quite a lot of these. Um, which makes sense because a lot of these are doodles and I just didn't know where to put them in. I only used a couple of these little um, succulent boxes. The coffee ones, I used quite a few of those. Um, I still have a lot of these ones 
and the like daily chore type ones and the little motivational stickers as well as the little Modi girl stickers so I will definitely keep these in my little pouch that I have here um because I'm more than sure I will definitely pull from this as the week goes on but this is my finished layout. Please let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. It really helps the channel out. If you're one of my longtime subscribers, thank you so much for being here and planning with me today. If you're new here, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. It is free. Follow me at the.readingraven on Instagram. I post book reviews, planner things, just things about my life there in general. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks everybody. Happy planning. Bye.